Hey there, Rusty Drift RC here. Today we're going to uh, do something a little different. Uh, no, I'm not going to work on the lunchbox today. No, I'm not going to work on the uh, lunchbox mini. Today we're going to go a little smaller and work on the lunchbox junior. It's a part of the wild mini 4x4 series. Uh, this one's not RC but it's battery operated and uh, still a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of fun. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's put it up. Got the, you know, rubber tires, basic chassis plate here. Here's the important part, the uh, lunchbox body, wheels. Motor, gears, and the other parts, stickers, oh, the warnings and your instructions. So normally you start with the body and the detailing painting and stickers, but I'm going to start, I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now and leave that till later. I'm uh, going to start, go ahead and start with the, uh, with the motor, this tiny little motor here and the pinion gear they want you to go ahead and just press it on as far as setting the depth of that on the parts tree they've got this little uh, cup here which you can just go ahead and use to push to seat the pinion as far as it's supposed to go Okay, and then you've got your, uh, you take your chassis plate and go ahead and get that motor pressed in there. And just like slide it down until it snaps in place. Next, you're going to want your your orange gears and your gray gears and your your grease. Go ahead and uh, take those and your two little the two tiny little shafts. You're going to put a little bit of grease on the gears and on the shafts, and go ahead and put those in place. <clears throat> okay now the cover and what's nice is everything just snaps together with these very few tools are really needed to build these just slides in and snap Now we're gonna start putting the wheels together. You've got uh, two different ones. You've got your left side and your right side. One side has the gear built into the wheels. When you're, when you're putting these together, make sure you pay attention to the direction of the tread uh, so that that way you don't end up with uh, one tire that's uh, going backwards in the end. Once your tires are all on the rims, you can take these gray hub pieces and place those down in there into the hole. And now you're going to flip your uh, chassis around upside down here. Grab your left side wheels 
and you're going to use these little brass bushings and your axle shaft shafts go through like here okay you're gonna have a, just a little bit of grease on that pushing there on both sides Okay, seat the bushings in there. Your left side tire goes over that hex shaped shaft. And you're gonna press, that uh, end piece gets pressed in place to hold the tire firmly. And then the right side tire, same thing, with the bushing, tire, wheel over the wheel over over top of it. Make sure your, all your bushings are seated, and you've got your end caps pressed in place. And same thing on the other axle. Once your wheels are in place, I'm going to take these two pieces here. Um, they're going to be labeled A1 on the parts tree. And you're going to put those, snap those in place at either end of the chassis here. Just like that. And that covers the axle. Just like that. All right, now we're going to start setting up the battery box. Okay, we can take it and uh, we've got your switch unit here. Uh, go ahead and put it in with the switch facing down and just kind of Snap that in place. Then your battery terminals. Take the longer one of the two. And that's going to go down. You got a slot there. And that kind of slides down and clips into the slot there. And you got the short one. Again, you got a slot there. And it just slips in like that. It should, should kind of snap into place if you've got it in there right. All right, like that, that's just like that. You're going to need two AA batteries, which um, you're going to want to take, take these out every time you're not, when it's not in use. But uh, that'll be simple once you get this uh, set up here. One, two. You've got that. All right, next, you to make sure that the switch is in the off position. That was off, on. Okay. Then again, that's off. We'll take this over here. Over. And the tabs from the battery terminals, you're going to push the bend those that way out. And that's going to be where they're going to contact the motor terminals. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead, bring the chassis back over. And it's going to just snap into place. Snap, boom, okay, there you go.
and that's that's for the chassis setup right there pretty much uh, already built and again when you when you uh, All right, next, now I'm going to finish up the body here uh, before putting back, putting it on. Um, go ahead and paint with anything you're going to want to paint. Uh, usually like the chrome, the chrome bumper and grill. Um, you may want to use the orange on the uh, marker lights and red on the rear marker lights and tail lights. But I'm not going to be uh, painting the tail lights just yet. I'll do those later on. When I do some fine detail work. Right now I'm just going to work on chrome for the bumpers and grill. But I'm going to try, I've never used these before, the, the Zoet liquid, liquid chrome uh, paint markers. I'm going to see how well those work. I've never used them before. So these markers came in three different size tips. Um, I had to end up using the the really extra fine tip to uh, get in and do some of the detail, you know, detail on the grill and stuff. But it actually came out really nice. I think I really like those pens. It was really easy to use, real easy to control. And they actually came out with a really nice finish. Now I've got all the stickers in place. I'm going to go ahead and put the windows in. This just snaps in place over those pieces there. Just a couple little tabs. And then you've got these two little gray plastic uh, pieces here, C2. And those are going to snap onto those two little pins inside there. And that's what's going to lock the windows in place. Okay, then you got the uh, you know, the light bar and it goes across the top. I went ahead and hit the lights themselves with that chrome paint. And it'll just snap in, into the two holes in the roof there, like that. Okay, next. The two wheelie bar halves. I'm going to go ahead and snap those together. Okay. And then at that wheelie bar, it's going to snap into place at the back of the chassis. You just kind of put it into one side and just kind of squeeze it. And it'll just snap in like that. Then you've got your side steps. And the body. Okay, the body sits on the little holes there. And the side step is what locks it in place. And that's where you, you know how you're gonna remove the body to, to put the batteries in and out is if by removing these side steps and lifting the body off. And the build is complete. Put the power on. And just let it go. You put it up on the wheelie bar. Ride the wheelie. Also comes with these little cones that snap into the wheels like this. You can snap them in on both sides or one side. Okay, you can do it on this, both, you know, it comes with four, you do them on both sides. And then it can ride on two wheels like this. Okay. So 
So, it's just a fun little thing. Uh, just, it's not RC, but it's kind of still kind of cool. Still fun to play with, so fun to build. Um, you know, in those days where you can't go outside with your real lunchbox, you take this out and just kind of mess around and in the house. You know, the wheel, you know, the wheelie action, side wheelies. I don't know. It's pretty fun. Like I said, it doesn't require much in the way of tools to build it. Um, mainly just your side cutters if you want. Uh, a little bit of paint. And, uh, you know, real simple fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.